kind of trying to get this. I may have to pull that apart. Okay. Kind of trying to get this going in a, a coil that's. The clay's awfully wet, and that's not a bad thing. But I'm trying to get it even in coils that are fairly even. I don't like those little ripples in it. And I don't want them too thin, but I don't want them too thick. So I like them about, about like so. But I don't like the creases that I'm seeing in them. So, so I'm going to mash them with my hands first to get the creases out. I think that will work. And then roll them. I think that worked better. Okay. Always keeping the clay wet that you're not using. And we're going to do the slump method. I'm going to need to line this bowl with paper. So you can get some of that scrap paper over there that we have. And some tape. Yes, quite a bit of that. And some tape. And we're going to just line this. And this is going to be a slump method of doing clay. And I like the shape of this bowl. It's I have to line this. Why am I lining it? Uh, so, that it so it won't stick, stick to the plastic, because if it sticks to that plastic, then I can't get it out. <coughs> That's right. So I'm going to kind of pull this around, tape it. Do you want me to pass out? Huh? <laughs> No, y'all can watch that if you're not watching me. It's just... And all these are going to be for, oh, for empty bowls? Yes, we're making things for empty bowls. I'm excited for that. No, yeah. No. And you know what's neat is you all aren't that. going, oh, we don't get to take our bowls home. It's like... You're excited to do this, and, it, and it's a... It's I a, love helping people. It's helping. It's helping other people. I might be able to get my I wish they did. She does, it'd be cool like if they did one for, like, pets. Person. Like, that would help pets and shelters. Well, this is specifically mm -hmm. to help people. Yeah. I might be able to get my grandma to help. She's this big... Charity Tell organizer. your church because the church is a big charity organizer. Uh, we're going to have people guy. contacting churches. We're going to have people contacting. I might be able to get my and build into it. Uh, the the guy that wants to help Realtors? out with. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see him last night. Yeah, like he really just We have plenty of time to get a hold of volunteers. I don't even think he came home last night. My grandma's like me. She's very talkative. I know. Tell your church, Kylie. And I. Uh, uh, my church is bad. I didn't even remember about telling anyone about it until That's okay. he said something about That's he cool. had a daughter my age, and he I wondered if uh, we want if me and her would uh, could meet up sometime and do something for charity. And I then know, I remember. Right? And then you went, "Wow, we've got something going at school, yeah. huh?" I'm not even going to worry about what the design's going to be. I'm going to start by making. I'm just going to roll it into. a Kind of like a snail form? I'm going to roll it up like a snail. Like this. And then, I'm going to take one of my tools, just for fun. I'm not going to use the snail form. I'm going to cut it in half. So then I have rainbow forms. Down the bowl. And this is not the right size, really, so I'm going to kind of hang on to that. Get this one all in the right size a little bit. And I'm going to make another rainbow for him. And you know, really, I should have maybe, I, there's a better way to do that than what I did right there first. I'm kind of, I'm not the best ceramist. Ceramist? Clay is not my forte, but I like working in anything creative. So here's really what I should have done. I should have smoothed out one side of it before I cut it because then it attaches and I may just pull that out of there and start over because then it's easier to attach everything. 
and this makes it strong when you pull it all together. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And then you see I have a rainbow on one side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn that rainbow to the outside, like that. And the smooth is on the inside. Do you see that? Smooth's on the inside, rainbow's on the outside. So let me see if I can, I don't know if I can smooth this now that I've got it cut apart. Let's see if I can. It's harder when you've got it cut apart. Oh, not bad at all. It's working. It's important that you not capture a bubble in it because bubbles, um, when, when air gets real hot, it gets larger. So when it gets larger, what would happen? It would cause shattering. It would cause shattering. That's exactly right. It would cause it to explode if you had a very large air bubble. So I'm going to come on around here. See, on one side I have the, the uh, rainbow. rainbow, and on the other side I have a smooth area. So I'm going to come on around like that. And they don't have to be even. You didn't smooth that Oops, one. I didn't smooth that one. Yay. Or I did smooth that one. I just need to put the smooth to the inside. Because when I pop it out, I want the decoration to be on the outside. And I don't think this one has enough layers. So I need some more clay. Always keep your clay wrapped and keep wet paper towels on it so that it stays moist. Or a wet rag in it is good. If you do this, it twists it and, and makes it twisted. You don't want to do that. One hand is good. What are we going to do with the sponge and water? Sponge and water it helps. It smooths it out on yeah, the inside. It smooths oh, okay. out things. And if, it's, it, if it starts to crack, dry, one little finger to smooth out something like that crack right there that I had. See that crack? Mm -hmm. one, one finger of water takes care of that. Mine is not round yet. I did put lotion on my hands before I started. So that they wouldn't hurt? Uh, huh. So that, so that they wouldn't hurt? So they wouldn't hurt. My skin's pretty really sensitive. It causes your hands to crack. It, it does. Uh, I don't, it depends on your skin, but my hands will crack and bleed if I work in this every day. They get so dry they crack and bleed. And like I said, you don't want these too thin. But if you get them too thick, then that's a possibility that the clay can can explode too. I mean, it won't yeah. dry out enough. It'll take forever clay to dry. Is very, clay is a very fragile thing. No worries. Especially yeah. when you just it. Like well, it's hey, definitely yeah. fragile if you get it too thin. Uh, the coil's too thin. Yeah. The palm of your hand's a good place. But I'm, I'm having trouble getting them. I never had trouble getting them. To go smooth before. I don't know what my problem is today. Use this Where's my sponge? Actually, one little right here. fingertip will probably take care of it. Try two hands. It just keeps bumping. Usually, I can just roll and it's got a perfect little round circle. and It's kind of a light touch you give it. See how, I mean, it's really light. If you push it, I think I was pushing down too hard. If you give it a really light touch, it ends up getting into a circle. I've got a, I've got a problem there, so I'm going to kind of smooth it out. Give it a chance to get into it. There it goes. All I need right now is an extra piece on the end over there for this round. Always your extra clay, put it back in the bag, keep it wet, keep the bag sealed. Keep the extra clay, if it picks up those little 
little extra balls of clay, it's going to put a texture on there that you don't want, so I try to keep your area clean as you can. This little paddle makes a real good tool to pull it together. If it's not working one way, pull it another way. You can pull it back and forth. You don't want to stretch it out of shape too much. You've got a bowl shape that you like. This one's fairly large. The clay does shrink, but it doesn't shrink a lot. So I'm making a fairly large bowl. Um, it may be a little too large. Let's trim the end of this off. There we go. Extra clay back in the thing. I'm not looking for unity. I'm not looking for, to make everything exactly the same. This is a handmade bowl uh, to to look it's for not unity. Be perfect. Yeah. Well, it's not just that it doesn't have to be perfect. I really don't want it perfect. I want it to be unique. Yeah. I want it to be different. It's already drying out. See, those little edges are already drying out, and I'll be taking those probably and making slip out of them. What's slip? Oh, you use it to put on the outside of like clay pots. So and what like is it? A, it's kind of isn't it kind of like a lacquer. It's liquid clay. Yeah. Good job. I made a good bowl too. Mm -hmm. See how it's cracking right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One finger. That's all it takes. It's nothing, that, so don't put a whole bunch of water on it. Yes. Sure. You can add on coils if you want to. Get a little bigger if you want to. And when are we doing the empty bowls thing again? Uh, March 5th is when we have to have all the bowls done and everything done. Okay, so I'm going to turn that over. So the end of the year of the year? Yeah, but it, it's going to come, uh, it's, we're going to need every bit of that time. Every bit of that time. I didn't cut it in there. Yeah, I was like, you didn't cut it. Was right. Like, now look, I've got a gap. What am I going to do about the gaps? Put some the clay in there. I'm going to take some of these pieces that I didn't use, that I poked back in here. Where are they? Right there. Yeah. Little pieces. I'm going to make some little balls. Jumpy with the camera here. And I'm going to fill in the gaps right there, like so. And then. I'm going to start filling in. Well, I might have to put a little coil or something in here if it doesn't fill in very well. But I'm going to start filling in the gaps here and pulling that together. I, actually, I'm going to need a little, little coil to go between. What are you going to do about the paper, like the, the big bump of the paper? I'm not worried about it. Just let it go. How tall are you going to make this? One? I'm going to make it all the way to the top for this one. So see what I've got so far, and what I'm going to do is just smooth that out on the inside. And sometimes my finger just works better. If I don't have real long nails, which is one of the reasons that I didn't do long nails this time. That really, my finger's really working better than anything. As long as you're working with wet clay, you don't have to do a lot of scoring and worry about a lot of slip. But I do need a ball of clay right there. Because anywhere there's a gap, we got to fill in with a ball of clay. And I don't know what exactly what it looks like on the other side. It's going to be a surprise. I kind of know, but until I actually pull this out of the basket or out of the bowl, I won't know exactly what it looks like. And if I don't get it all sealed exactly, I can seal it after I take it out. I think I'll get most of it done, but I might not get it all exactly like I want it. That bowl. Now, you can kind of sand down places a little bit, but it's better to get it, while the clay's wet, it's better to get it smooth then. The less sanding down, 
you have to do after it's dry. It's so fragile after it's dry. You want to do as much right now of making it smooth as you can. And you want to work fast because I don't want to have to keep this wet tomorrow. So I want to work as fast as I can and try to get it done in one setting if I can. So if I were you, I would not attempt a bowl this big. I started a bowl this I started a bowl this big because I'm going to demonstrate it for other classes today. If some of the paper would happen to stick to it and like it's hard to pick off and I'm making a mess or something and it's making texture in there that I don't want when I start to when I take it out of the bowl, just leave it because what's going to happen in the kiln? It'll burn off. It'll burn off. Almost anything will burn off of it. There's a few things that won't. Um, like if you got a piece of glass in it or something like that, it wouldn't burn off. Glass melts at a certain degree, though. Yes, it does, and it might it might ruin your bow. Yeah. Because your first firing is your bisque firing. I told you that, right? And it turns it into this kind of clay, this grayish colored clay, will turn a creamy white or a white color. If we had terracotta clay, which I don't think that's come in. A terracotta clay color. turns like a like one of those uh, salmon potting color. plants, yeah. an yeah, orangish, yeah, pinkish like color. That. Like a salmon color? <laughs> yes, salmon color is a good description. Not doing good at coils today, girls. I think I'm too aggressive with it. I think I need to be much gentler. Yeah, this is going so much better when I use a much gentler touch. Because you, you don't want creases in it. You don't want what you're seeing right there in it. You want that to come out. Right, nice little, remember when you were little kids and you worked with clay and you made snakes all day long? That's what we're doing. We're making snakes, but they were really called coils. Okay, so that's too thick. It's getting there though. And if you'll roll from the inside, going to the out, if you'll do from the inside, going to the out, it makes it longer. Yeah, this is, this is working. I was more patient with this. I think I was trying too hard to show you fast how to do it. And you can sit and roll several clay uh, uh, coils and then put a wet paper towel on them and then just do all of your work in the bowl at one time. And you can you can work in pairs. That would be a good idea. Set and roll co uh, coils together and then work in pairs. And hey, you know, if you've been working in pairs with one person, try another person in this class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. you're friends. Yeah. Make a new friend. I'm friends with everyone. I know you are, but <laughs> make a new partner. Find out something about someone else. But I like the person who's also good at clay. That's good. I think that's still a little bit thick. It looks really long on camera. Because <clears throat> it zoomed in. I know. It looks like this big. Yeah. It's okay, I got a really nice long one. <laughs> My head hurts. I can do other things with it. I don't have to stick with what I'm doing. I can do something like this. I'm going to get it a little bit wet so it'll bend better. Okay. I could do something. Oh, it's not quite wet enough. It needs to be consistently. Okay. I could do something where I do a zigzag bend. Just have to be sure that it's the right wetness. If it starts to crack, wet it a little bit. Because bending it on that angle 
it may start to crack. Yeah, doing that full like yeah, that full <laughs> the angle. Degree. You're stretching like a, your clay quite a bit. Looks like a brain, like a part of a brain. Like a brain. I don't think it will when you get it into the bowl though. Yeah, like those cartoon brains, but it looks like it looks yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I like some sort of organ. Yeah. It's kind of like the digestive, the digestive system and all. Oh dear! The I don't know if I want to use this after your comments. Mm. Mm. The intestines. Mm. Tasty. It might look pretty in the bowl. Yeah. Okay. Have, so, oh, what, what do I do next? Cut it in half. You uh, flatten it, it, smooth it, smooth it, and then smooth one half. side. Well, I don't think she must be cut in half because it's just one thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she's going to cut it in half. Not this one. I could, and I'd have little scallops. I could do that for the top of it and go all the way around it, you know, and I'd have a little scalloped area. <laughs> if you were to do that, I'd cut it, like, down there. Like, down through the middle? Yeah. <coughs> Oh, no. Matthew for Okay, so I'm going to put that right in there. And I'm going to smooth that together. And I'm going to continue building until I fill this bowl up with different patterns. Okay? All right. So that's where we are. Wet paper towels. I need wet paper towels over this and a plastic bag around it.